Yo, what is up guys, Blade here back with another video and today we're gonna to be going over how you can make any microphone sound a whole lot better, a whole lot more professional. Say you're rocking a sub 10, 20, 30, 40, even $50 uh, microphone and you just wanna make that sound a whole lot better, you know, like a hundred plus dollar microphone. This is a video for you guys. So basically we're gonna be doing a technique through a program called Audacity and uh, this is very great for the people who are just starting out on YouTube, you know, they don't have the best equipment and they don't have the best microphone. And I've been rocking the Blue Yeti microphone for almost about a year now. It's a pretty decent microphone. Um, before that, I had the Blue Nessie, which was all right. Um, before that, I don't even remember. I probably used the built-in microphone on my computer, or probably used my phone. But all these, uh, all the microphone that I've ever used, I've always paired it with this technique that I'm going to show you guys, just to get that crisp, clean audio. So, um, anyways, without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. And this video goes along with the rest of my playlist, which is called YouTube Tips and Tricks. And if you guys want to find out how to you know record your screen minimize file sizes and uh, do a bunch of other stuff I've made uh, videos on this and it will, I will link that playlist and the information tab where you guys check out the first thing you want to do is go ahead and search audacity on uh, download on Google and you'll be greeted with the links right here and so there's a Windows and Mac version so we're gonna be downloading this program here a lot of you may be familiar with this it's basically a recording uh, program for you to record voiceover stuff like that and um, so what we're gonna do is come here and we're gonna go ahead and install the latest one so it should be the audacity installer just click on that and it'll start the download um, as you can see right here it'll be an executable file so you can just save that wherever you want and go ahead and double click on it and install that program I already have it so I don't have to do that but uh, go ahead and do that and come back to this video. All right, once you've gotten Audacity installed, just go ahead and open it up. So I have mine right here. So we can go ahead and open up Audacity. And once you open it up, it should look something like this. Um, we don't want to see this again. I'm going to hit OK here. And basically, this is the program that we're going to be using. So this is a very helpful program. Again, it can uh, really help you record voiceovers and stuff like that. So um, what you want to do uh, once you have opened up Audacity is simply you want to hit the record button. now. Uh, before doing this, make sure you minimize all the ambient noise in your room or wherever you are. Um, the less noise to start out with, it's uh, the best. So like any uh, fan noise, so if you have your fan on or um, if you have your AC on, usually I leave my AC on because it's usually like you can't hear that much, but uh, fans and stuff like that you can actually hear. So try to minimize as much as ambient noise as you can around your environment and then go ahead and do that. Make sure um, you have your microphone plugged in or whatever microphone you're using. Maybe you're using the laptop mic, who knows. But um, whatever microphone you're using, you wanna click on over here and make sure it is set to that microphone. All right, so what you wanna do now is you wanna click on record and just start your voice server or your commentary, whatever you want. And uh, basically, when you hit record, make sure to wait about one, two, uh, four seconds so you can get that ambient noise that's in your environment that uh, so we can get that profile and edit out later and I'll show you what I mean so I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate a quick recording here and there we go so we just um, did that and as you can see I have about four seconds of just silence and this is the noise profile for the ambient noise in my environment when everything is silent so that's pretty much the part you want to kind of uh, reduce but we're gonna get to that a little bit later so what you want to do now is on your keyboard hit control A and this will highlight or select everything in your timeline and then what you want to do is go to effect and you want to go to compressor and you want to hit OK um, just uh, make sure they're all uh, of these values they should be by this by default so that should be all good then you want to just hit OK so uh, after that what you want to do is you want to now just go ahead and reduce that uh, noise so basically what you want to do is you want to highlight about one to four seconds of the part of the time that was silent so you just want to highlight that and you want to go ahead and go to effect you want to go to noise reduction and then you want to click on get noise profile so this basically just um, lets Audacity know uh, what noise to filter out, right? So what we want to do now is hit Control A on your keyboard again, and this time you want to go to Effect the Noise Reduction, and then you want to make sure the noise reduction is set to 16, sensitivity on is on 6, frequency is on 3, and the noise is set on Reduce. And if you make sure those are the correct values, it should hit OK. And this will completely, as you can see, or almost, there might be some little static right there, but 
completely like sans out that noise the ambient noise right in the background so um you can basically just uh highlight the portion of just silence and just go ahead and delete that if you don't want that you can just do for the same in the end you can see highlight and hit delete on your keyboard and that should uh go away as you can see now this is the recording we have so i'm just gonna play that back yo guys what is up splay here back with a new video Yo guys, what is up? Splay here back with a new video. Like honestly, it just makes your mic, no matter what, how much it costs or what the quality of that mic is, it just makes sound way better. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you have to do. And we're gonna go just go to file and export audio. This is where you just export your audio. So you can name this whatever you want. Go ahead and you can save that as a WAV format. Usually I do recommend you using WAV uh, sign 16-bit it's the best but you can also do mp3 whatever floats your boat but I'm gonna go with wave wave usually tends to be a bigger file size so just keep that in mind just because it has a higher bit rate so we're gonna go and save that I'm gonna hit ok and it should be saved to where I have it it's right there now you can import that into your video editor and start you know syncing your clips and stuff like that so that's just that's a little quick tip for you guys you can use to you know just make your uh, uh make your voice recording sound a whole lot better and uh yeah so that's about it guys if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe uh leave a like if this video helped and until then guys i'll be back with a new video peace